Uh, why don't you're, you, you always say everything why, tastes amazing. Why, like, why, don't, why don't you I'm tell I'm the taste me. test dude. They listen to me. Today we're going to make minestrone soup. This is a great one, especially for winter when you're just in the soup mood. Here's all those ingredients. Let's get into it right now. You can really mix and match this if you don't like potatoes, if you want more beans, if you want a different mix of beans. There's so many ways to do this. We're going to start off with pancetta. I have basically a little bit more than four ounces there that I just diced up before. That's going to give a, a wonderful flavor in the beginning along with a lot of olive oil in it. If you're vegetarian, vegan, just omit this and just use olive oil. You're still going to get great results. I did two fairly large carrots, so it gives me over a cup of carrots, three celery ribs, which gave me over a cup of celery, and then two medium onions. Basically, it's about equal amounts of the celery, onions, and carrots. I have cannellini beans, and I have butter beans or lima beans. You can also use fava beans. You could use borlotti beans. Tomatoes, I have 14 ounces. These are just datarini, means little dates. But if you have a standard 28 ounce can, just use half of that can. Or if you like more tomato, just you, you could use a full can. Parsley, we'll finish it up. We have Parmigiano Reggiano rind. I got eight cups of vegetable stock, three medium potatoes, about two cups worth. It's gonna go in towards the end. It's gonna make it thicken up the soup a little bit. It's gonna give it a great flavor. And then thyme is gonna go in the soup too. And finally, we have the kale. This is dinosaur kale or Tuscan kale or a bunch of other names. What are the other names? La Sonato or black kale. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> if you don't like kale, you could use spinach, you could use escarole. There's a lot of greens you could put in here. Though kale is so easy to find now <laughs> in all the stores, a lot easier to find than a lot of other vegetables. I have a six quart Dutch oven, so I'm gonna heat it up to about four out of 10, just a touch less than medium. There's also five cloves of garlic in this recipe. So I have it minced in the recipe card. I just sliced it now. I'm putting a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil in here along with our pancetta that's gonna render even more fat. There's a lot of fat in here. The fat is the base of the soup that's gonna give it flavor. If you don't do this and you just put a bunch of vegetables in there, it'll be good, but it won't be as good as doing this. Look at it this way. I mean, this is still a very healthy soup. So I'm gonna coat the bottom. And then in addition to that half a cup, we have our quarter pound of diced pancetta. At this heat level, probably about 10 minutes to render the majority of its fat. We want most of the fat to render instead of just throwing it in because that fat's gonna give a lot of flavor to our veggies when we saute it all. And while that pancetta is going, this is our time. And just to make it easier to fish out later on, you can tie it up. Okay, so our pancetta is definitely close. We're gonna get our carrot, celery, and onion right into the pot and just mix it around and coat those veggies with that delicious pancetta fat and olive oil. You give this a little sprinkle of salt to accelerate that water release. Let's give this about 10 minutes, let these veggies get nice and soft. After you did about 10 minutes in there, then you can get your garlic in. And uh, we'll let that go just until it gets fragrant. Then we're gonna add everything except for our potatoes. Now, I'm gonna add the potatoes at the end, kind of like thicken it up like a chowder. Can you add the potatoes now? Yeah, absolutely can. Whoop. <laughs> That's cannellini beans that I just dropped in, dropped in there. These are the butter beans or lima beans. And the kale. So that's about two to two and a half cups worth of that dinosaur kale. And then our thyme, our bunch that we tied up and our Parmigiano Reggiano rind. Put them both in there. So I'm putting in eight cups of vegetable stock. If you like this soup really thick, you could just do four cups here. My kind of like idea always, like my stereotypical idea of this soup is uh, more on the brothier side. So now we just mix it all together, get everything in there, and turn the heat up to a boil. If you can remove any of those brown bits at the bottom of your pot if you have any, which I don't really. And the way you can feel if you do is just if it feels a little coarse down there, as you move it around, once it gets very smooth, that's, that's what you want. Let's talk about today's sponsor, Seed. Seed's DS1 Daily Symbiotic is a 24 strain pre and probiotic formulated for benefits beyond the gut, including skin and heart health, and all 24 strains have been clinically and scientifically studied. And gut health has been a topic of discussion in our home ever since Tara became pregnant with Sammy, and we prioritized our family's health. So when she first explained DS1's two-in-one Viacap delivery technology, I was intrigued. While most other probiotics are destroyed in the stomach, 
stomach by its acid, DS1, which is basically a capsule within a capsule, is designed so the probiotics survive their trip through the well or small intestine, where they can get to work on supporting our health, skin, and regularity. On top of this, we love seed because it comes in a refillable glass bottle that doesn't need refrigeration and is free of 14 classes of allergens defined by the EFSA. So if you want to make a commitment to your health and try seed, use my link in the description and use my code SIP and Feast at checkout for 15% off your first month's supply of Seed's DS1 Daily Symbiotic. Thank you to Seed for sponsoring this video. Okay, so we're boiling. Touch that bottom, everything is smooth. Now we can turn this down to a simmer. Here's the cover. I'm gonna put it about that much cracked. So that will give us a moderate amount of evaporation, but not an excessive amount. We'll be back in an hour to put the potatoes in. Okay guys, it's been probably a little bit over an hour that I was simmering it and it looks great. Reduced by probably about an inch, I'd say. But I, I like this consistency here. And then before we add the potatoes in, I'm just gonna season this up with a tiny bit of salt and pepper. You know, we'll taste test it again at the end uh, to finish that final flavor up. But let's see what we got going right now. It's pretty good. Maybe I haven't put a touch of salt, but probably gonna have to add a little bit more because we're gonna put these potatoes in right now. And we have three medium Yukon Gold potatoes, which that's about two cups worth of potatoes, maybe a tiny bit more. Adding these in right now is gonna add to the substantialness of this soup. It's been like 15 minutes. Potatoes are, they're close to fork tender. I tried a couple of them. Go like that, or just take a bite of one. That's all you have to do. I'm gonna put in a good amount of that parsley. I'll save a little bit for the garnish. Mix that through and we're gonna taste test and we're gonna season up one last time here to get it perfect. You can also fish out your thyme now that has served its purpose admirably. So I tasted it, salt, maybe a touch more. We definitely put a good amount of pepper in. I love it with just a good drizzle of extra virgin, some grated Parmesan cheese. And speaking of Parmesan cheese, there is the block in here somewhere, uh, the rind, I mean, that we can fish out. People are always like, what did you do with the rind? What happened to the rind? They say, did it, did it disintegrate? It doesn't disintegrate. It is right here and you can eat it now. It's completely edible. We're gonna get the taste tester down right now. He was just telling me because we just made the most delicious baked spaghetti pie and you only gave it an eight and a half. And he told me, you better watch out because these are the soup. He's like, he's like, I'm not feeling confident about you about the soup. So James, I am a little concerned. Do, would you like a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on there? Yeah, some sure. grated cheese? It was on there, but I'm gonna put more on there yeah. for you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Just that, like, there's so many vegetables. I, and, like, I, not a lot of other stuff. I, I, well, I know, but you know what? Like, a lot of people just, ju all they do is eat vegetables. This bread looks really good. Yeah, well, I put a piece in the broth for you. Oh, oh yeah, I see that. It might be hot, so. It's good. I like that you put the bread in it, guys, kind of like you do for ribolita, and you like let it get all you know so soaked. Yeah. I like to just, I like to take my spoon and to like break off a piece of it. Yep, just like that. It is pretty good. It's better than I expected. <laughs> that doesn't really mean much though. Well, why don't you give it a rating? Okay, yeah. Okay, here's your card and yeah. Marker, please don't. I don't know if I'm gonna eat any more though because I don't really like it that much. That isn't good. That is not a good sign. All right, I'm not looking. All right. He, he wrote, don't ever make soup again, dad. Seven and three quarters, I'm rounding to an eight. That's not bad. I'm, that is not bad at all. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half actually. No, 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 we'll keep, well, seven and three quarters, fine. No, because it's more like a seven and a half than an eight. Uh, why don't you're, you, you always say everything why, tastes amazing. Like, why don't, why don't you I'm tell the taste me, tester. They I, listen to me. They do listen to you. So why don't you tell them why it only got a seven and three quarters? There's nothing special about it. It's just vegetables. Is there even any like... like There's a little bit of pancetta. I can't even taste it. I think it's delicious. I think the bread is better. And I made a bean soup that time and you gave it a really high rating. And that was just beans. Well, that's better than this. Oh, this is so good. Well, it doesn't matter what I think, though. This one doesn't get like an eating at the end. Like, I know, I know that, that they know that too. They're like, you definitely. That's like part of the. I'm, I'm gonna have to do it then. 